back in the city right now. Today is going to be the most random day ever. I'm just going to do as many random jobs as I can today. Starting the day off with caviar. I'm going to work a couple hours on caviar. I'm going to focus on them. From 10.30 to noon, I'll focus on caviar. And then afternoon, I'm just going to go all random. Shipbird sends me requests. I'm totally going to accept those. Also, if if there's decent Postmates requests popping up, I'll definitely accept those. And I really cross my fingers for TaskRabbit, because TaskRabbit is like really easy. I just haven't really been working for them a lot lately, because a lot of jobs haven't been popping up. I believe you have to be elite now. I believe if you're elite, you get requests faster, or something like that. So it's kind of a bummer, but I'll have to see. But for now, I'm gonna turn caviar on. Just accepted a caviar job. This one is what two blocks away. It's for seventeen dollars. The drop off is in what Soma. It just picked that order up. Parking was really easy. Found a towaway parking spot right outside of the restaurant. Went inside. The food was waiting for me. Like I literally stayed in the restaurant for sixty seconds. Came up back outside. I'm in the car, ready to drop the food off. The next problem is dropping the food off. It's on Market Street, and Market Street sucks, and I'm probably gonna have to go upstairs, like on the third floor or fourth floor or something like that. I haven't checked the description yet, but I should probably check that out right now because that's gonna be a bummer if I have to park and go up like to the 10th floor and check in with security. And you know, it doesn't say, so maybe the customer is gonna meet me downstairs. That'll be excellent, that'll be great. Please meet me downstairs so I won't have to park and go upstairs. This drop off location is not that far at all. It's, I wanna say like less than a 10 minute drive. And from 11 to 12 is when Caviar has the good bonuses. So it's 11.03 right now. I kinda need to get gas soon, but I'm not really worried about gas. And the main reason why I'm not really worried about gas is because I'm not driving customers. Because when you drive customers, they get in your car, you have no idea where they want to go. And maybe I have, what, two or three gallons left of gas. It's getting really low. Just accepted a second caviar job. We'll see how this one is. It's not that far away. But I still gotta drop off this order. Traffic's a little bit longer than eight minutes. That was seriously one of the easiest deliveries I've ever delivered because just pulled up in the loading dock, made my delivery quick, easy, fast. Let's go. So this next one, it's not that far away, but I don't know, maybe it's like a seven minute drive. This area may be a little bit tougher to park, but who knows, I can probably park in like a tollway zone or a construction zone or something of that sort for like five minutes, 10 minutes, run in and pick up the food. Hopefully the food's ready. So by this delivery, by this delivery being somewhat far away, I believe it will be ready. Just picked up order number two. This order is going downtown. Now the tricky thing about this order is 
it's going on Market Street again, but I don't think this location has a loading dock. I'm pretty sure that this location don't have a loading dock. But I'm not freaking out just yet because I've already accepted another order. This, the third order I accepted, this order is downtown in the mall on the fifth floor. So what I was thinking about doing is just finding a parking spot, using the same parking spot to deliver this delivery, as well as to pick up the next, because the delivery, this drop-off location and the pickup location for the next delivery, they're pretty close to one another. They're about three, four blocks away. Just finished that delivery. Now my original plan was to park find one parking spot and park there and run over and get the second pickup unfortunately the parking spot I found wasn't good enough for me to leave my car there where I run over to the mall however I did find a parking spot that was right outside of the drop-off location now I gotta run over to the mall find a parking spot near the mall run in run to the what fifth floor and then pick up the delivery and go from there now another reason I accepted this order was I was really crossing my fingers I could get double orders on this pickup because this is a pretty popular restaurant so I thought that you know maybe I could get doubles or triples and then get in the lunch rush out that way but maybe not I'm almost there and I haven't got any requests for doubles yet yeah but you know every day you can't have doubles every day you can't have that perfect awesome day you know Every day you can't make $100 in three hours or $100 in one hour or $100 in two hours or whatever. Some days you gotta work a little bit harder for that dough. All right, I found a spot, so let's go inside the mall, go to the top floor, pick up this order and go deliver it. This delivery is uh, it's kinda going far away. Um, we'll definitely have to take the freeway, but it won't take long and I don't think parking there will be a problem. So let's go. Just finished that drop off order, but I'm hungry now, it's time to eat. So I already ordered food at this like restaurant across the street I've never been to. I looked it up on Yelp. I was looking for Mediterranean food. I typed in Mediterranean food and this burger joint popped up that has vegan burgers. So I'm gonna go check it out. Yo, time for this vegan burger. Yum, 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 yum. Mm, next they gave me this little sampler. Dude, this place has really good falafels. That place had good food. I'll definitely return back here. Mediterranean. All right, now just hanging out at Dolores Park, taking a little break. And I'm about to go now because I just accepted not one, but two test rabbit jobs. The first one is to drive a package from San Francisco down the Redwood City. All right. The second one is to pick up a few items from IKEA. Now, there's not an Ikea in Redwood City, but there's an Ikea, I believe, in Palo Alto, and Palo Alto is really close to Redwood City. Then that way I can just head back here to the city, and then that way I could do the dinner rush. So, uh, I guess I better get gas, because for some reason, I need gas again. And we're gonna go down to Redwood City. But before we go down to Redwood City, we gotta pick the item up. Now I'm off picking up this test rabbit delivery and this one is about six minutes away. Really close. Alright, just finished that last delivery and now I'm at IKEA where I have to go buy a few items for a customer. I cross my fingers this doesn't take a whole long time. I cross my fingers this doesn't take a long time. And there's also crazy traffic headed back to the city. And I don't know if I can um, sneak this huge camera into Ikea, so I think I want to look for a basket, wrap the camera up in my jacket, and then put the camera in the basket, and then scoot the basket in, and that way I can get in without security noticing that I have like this huge camera. Let's go try it. Let's go for a little adventure in Ikea. This is one big elevator. Let's see if my idea works. I'm just gonna put the camera here. I don't think they'll say anything. Let's see. 
No, I'm sorry. This is not my kitchen. I'm just looking for these items, and it's not as easy as I thought it would be. I'm just running around in circles. And my phone doesn't have service in there, so I have to log on to their internet. To log on to their internet, I have to like sign up for this and sign up for that, and put this password and put that password, and it's like Whoa. still here, and I can't find any of this stuff. I mean, I found one item, but. You have to like write the numbers down and go pick it up like downstairs. So I found it, but I actually technically haven't like found it. And I still have like three other items to look for, which could be downstairs. What is this over here? Yes, yes, yes. Good news. I found one of the pillows. This one's here. So I just gotta actually find the one that I can purchase because I can't purchase this one. This is the one for display. <laughs> Dang, it's getting real now. I'm like in a warehouse. So I gotta go look for this like bar stool. It's somewhere over here. I got a few numbers to go by. And then from there, it's gonna be an hour plus drive back to the city because it is what, 4 p.m. and traffic gets crazy at three. Don't know what time I'll make it back there. And I think tonight's gonna be a short night. I'm not gonna work too crazy tonight. We'll see how it goes. This is a wild goose chase. But I'm not complaining. What else would I be doing right now? Oh, I'm over here in this aisle somewhere. And I believe this is it right here. I'm looking for the gray one. Is it this? No, it's down here, but I don't think it's in that box. Or could it? Yeah, here it is here. Alright, this is my item. Lego. For now, all done with IKEA. Got everything except for item number four. That's totally fine. I talked to the customer and she said that she would just order that one off a line. And the most important thing she wanted were the gift boxes. And they totally had the gift boxes. Let me take that back. They're not actually gift boxes. They're actually, they're more like filing boxes. I don't know why I'm calling them gift boxes. I'm just bleh, calling them gift boxes. Uh -huh. Look at my basket. Where's it going? It's just floating away. Just finished that test rabbit order, dropped everything off. <laughs> wow, I had to bill them $148 in expenses, you know, from going to IKEA and charging it on my credit card. And I, I'll be reimbursed in, what, three days? I kind of don't mind doing that because I will get a lot of points for Sky Miles, like the Travel the World free. And guys, I'm already thinking about my next trip. I cannot wait to take like a two week trip leave the country, backpack, travel, make videos, try new foods, go to museums, you know, just do the whole deal. I just can't wait to do it. It's almost about that time that I get a little break from the Bay Area, this whole California life. But right now, I'm gonna go hit up this Starbucks, go in here and chill for a little bit, because it's, what, 5.44. I wanna get back out at around 6.15 or so, take a little break, sit on the computer for a little bit, see what's going on in the world. And then I'll get back out here and go make some more cash. It's a whole lot later now. I left Starbucks, walked out of Starbucks, left my charger for my camera. So I'm just bummed. Right now I'm vlogging on the iPhone, which is not the same, but it's okay. That Starbucks opens at 4.30 in the morning, so I'm probably gonna go there at 4.30 so I can get my battery and my charger. I've already ordered another battery and battery charger, but for some reason it's not here. I ordered a bunch of stuff and it's not here for some reason. So I really hope either I go home and one of those batteries that I ordered is like already there, or I guess I'm gonna have to wake up at like four, get here at 4.30 and then do that whole shenanigans. Oh crap, I guess tomorrow I'm gonna have a 4.30, 4.30 a.m. day.